if anyone ever questions my dedication to this real estate stuff, uh, so far, I mean, my feet are hurt because I've walked about six miles up and down streets. Uh, I already got one lead. Uh, gonna help, gonna be you know helping him out. Let me hop, find him a home and selling him a home. So that's nice. But uh, yeah, they say you know you find fifty houses, you find one lead. Yeah, it's been it's been crazy. I already got chewed away a lot of times. Yeah, I'm up in your face with it, but hey, that's what you gotta do. You know, our, our offer just got accepted for the 380. Gonna be helping somebody with 325, 25 acres. So stay active, stay proactive, and get out there and hustle. That's pretty much my tip for the day. And have a good day. So it's about 11 o'clock. Gonna be giving out my postcards over in the Moundsville area. That's fun. It's just pretty much, you know, has my listing that I posted. I look like a mess in this light. Oh my God, I need to comb my hair. I look greasy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that little goober. This is his room if it's dirty. He hates me right now because he knows he's about to go in this room. But uh, on my way to Moundsville. So this is pretty much what I do almost every day. Um, giving out these postal cards, whatever you want to call them. I don't really call them postcards. But I'm giving them out to about 50 to 100 homes uh, after my strenuous workouts. That's fine. My legs are killing me. But you got to stay motivated. So a uh, little tip, stay motivated. If it's not hard, you're not hurting, you ain't working. But I, uh, I do respect the 9 to 5s. Uh, the world wouldn't be the world without them. Everyone's got their purpose. Everyone's got a job and the cog in the nation. So, you know, keep on pushing. And the ones that do break free, the ones that are happy where they're at, you know, everyone lives their life how they live. So. And would you look at that? I just got another lead. They uh, want to buy a house. They want to sell their house. And they just told me the house right next to them wants to sell. So I'm about to get probably a double listing, hopefully. So overall, not a bad uh, lead generation prospecting trip. It was about an hour and a half. I did one side of the block, but I had to leave. I had to, I had to go pick up my girlfriend. Woof, getting a little dark. But uh, I probably look like a sweaty mess because I am a sweaty mess. But I got two leads. Well, actually a couple more leads than I actually, you know, expected from these little postcards. But this girl wanting me to sell her home already, she wants to get out of it, wants to get a new contract somewhere else, also was telling me that their neighbor wants to sell as well. So I'm going to be trying to work my way into a double lead, double listing. Uh, that would be awesome to have two signs in the same place because of me. But um, that was a little update. Hopefully I can update you some more with some news. So stay tuned. So today is... Friday, uh, April 9th, just trying to log everything, it sucks, I woke up at 5, trying to get out of here in a couple minutes so I can go to the gym, trying to make it so I can get be at the gym, you know, 5.30, it's fun, got my little puppy there, I love him to death, so that's how we just started our day, uh, going to the gym, then we got a bunch of stuff to do today, so hopefully we can get it all done and I can log it and good luck. You know, have everyone good morning and have a good rest of your day. We are on our way to Planet Fitness. Me and me and her, and my girlfriend. She's getting up at 5 a.m. with me. And at first it sucked, but you know, we have our trustworthy peanut butter, our trustworthy grape jelly. And that's pretty much our breakfast. And mine also <laughs> includes C4 Ultimate Shred. Not sponsor, I wish. But on our way to the gym, after we stuff our faces. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm out here every day. It sucks. I got about maybe a hundred left to go give out to people. Got a couple more miles to walk. Then I got cards in my pocket. I got a handout. Oh, um, we got a little update. Just collected the earnest check from one of my buyers. Gonna be collecting the other one hopefully later today for the 380. So stay tuned for that one. That's gonna be a big one. But I got my water and I got my bag on me this time. Because yesterday I was just dying of dehydration. 
But now we're prepared a little bit. Next time when we're bring those uh, power bars, keep me energized. So, so uh, you have to give this a little update and this little stutter. Bye. So little update, uh, just got done walking, walked about three miles today, got the rest of my postcards out. So now I'm on my way, got some food from Walmart, this uh, the pepperoni roll for 250, they're freaking amazing. 800 calories, 850 calories, and 35 grams of protein for 250. I like pepperoni rolls, so it does help me out. It does fill my belly up for now at least. I got my water, my water bottle in my bag. But now I'm on my way to deliver this check. Hopefully I collect another one. Gonna go bother uh, an expired listing. So wish me luck on that one. Round two of uh, of door knocking. You can already see the sweat. You can already see I got darker. It's gonna suck. It's really gonna suck. Oh my God. Uh, this is the one bad part about door knocking and multi-million dollar homes. Is they're so sweat apart. Oh God, I'm gonna definitely, definitely get my miles in compared to normal neighborhoods. But you know they say, go big or go home. They're gonna slam the door in my face the same as a hundred thousand dollar house would. <sighs> okay, so apparently I got turned in to the city of Moundsville clerk's office because I was going door to door, and in that city, you there's an ordinance that it's against the ordinance to go door knocking without a solicitor's license. So I pissed off somebody pretty severe enough for them to take my flyer that I gave out probably today. And I know it's today because I gave them out to a lot of people today. Uh, they took it, went over to the city because they got nothing better to do in their day. And they're like, hey, this guy's uh, soliciting. You should uh, 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 tell him to stop. That is, that is stupid. That's 100% stupid. I'm laughing. My broker's laughing. I'm definitely laughing pretty hardcore. So, uh, watch out. Because people are narcs. People will ruin your day because they don't have much better things to do. But I'm still doing it and wheeling because there's no ordinance against that. Like, I don't know how petty you have to be to turn someone in because they're going door to door. They don't even bother people. Some, some houses have just left my, uh, my postcard. So... Someone got butt hurt because I'm doing a better job than them. That's how you know you're doing a good job. We are back on schedule. That's uh, about 5.20, 5.23, well, I'm magic. Uh, here you go, play fitness. Then I got a couple paperwork to fill out. Hopefully I can cut my check Monday. We weren't able to do it Friday. But um, yeah, just, it was a really busy day yesterday. Got some suits. Y'all gonna be seeing them soon. And I look pretty good. Not gonna lie. So stay tuned. You know, personally, I don't know why it's so busy on Monday here, but on Sunday, it's like three cars. So that just means more gym for me. This is how it should be. What is it? 700 calories at seven o'clock. Oh my God, I had to stretch for those last couple calories. It sucked. But how else do you get strong like this? Oh man, I can't even know what to say. I'm dying. I bumped my workouts up, so it's probably almost twice as hard as my normal workouts. So that's not fun. But if you gotta just waking up, go out there, go sweat for 30 minutes, go do something. Get your day started. <sighs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Name's Garrison Wolf. I'm a realtor here in West Virginia. Yeah, if you got any referrals, know anybody, send them my way for your finder's fee. Anyways, we're in week two, and it was pretty eventful, but not too destructive to the, uh, to the reputation, to the business, to everything in my life. <laughs> but it is, as many of you don't know, it's getting hot, and I'm starting to get heat stroke while I'm door knocking in this. So I started door knocking in my shorts, and... Yeah, some people are going to call it unprofessional. I got told by a random guy, you know, he's part of a marketing firm and I should really be more classy when I'm doing my door knocking. But again, I'm not getting heat stroke. I wear a full black suit. I don't do that. <laughs> Anyways, I, uh, I actually, this is the fun part. Uh, I got turned in to Moundsville City Clerk's Office. My broker called me or told me to call him 
And I thought something was wrong. I was like, oh, God, you never tell me to do that. So I call him, and he, t he basically said, I'm doing my job a little do well. And somebody took my postcard, that uh, little screenshot of it will be right here or here, whatever, on the screen now. But, um, sorry about that, I had to burp. Anyways, he told me that somebody took my postcard and took it to the city clerk's office and turned me in. And let me know, he told me this has happened before when I initially started handing out my cards to every door in the neighborhood, in the city. But, um, this time they took my postcard and I guess I kind of got semi in trouble for it. They said, you can't be doing that without a solicitor's permit. So, if I want to keep doing it in Moundsville, I need to pay $75, which is ridiculous, but it's like $75 for the background fee, for the background check fee, and then like $75 a month. I may have those numbers off. I completely disregarded it. <laughs> But, um, it's like $150, you know, a year old. $75 a one-time fee, $75, you know, once a year to keep that permit, which is kind of stupid because Wheeling doesn't have that. And this is the first time my broker has heard or even seen something like that. But, um, I am one of the first agents around and that's been doing door knocking, which I know I am. Because a lot of the residents, they have lived there for up to 20, 30, even 40 years and have not seen a single agent knock on their door, if that tells you something. So, little tip, make sure to check your city ordinances to uh, make sure you're not breaking the rules when you're door knocking, which is, never thought I had to say that. <laughs> But even giving out my card is not allowed anymore until I get that permit. So I'm going to keep doing it on Wheeling. Uh, probably going to do it in Tridelphia because they got some of the good houses. But um, updates on the house. We actually just put an offer, another offer in that got accepted for 100000 So that's good. I get about, again, I get about two k out of that after all of my commissions and taxes been paid. Ooh, ooh. I'm drinking a smoothie. I drink smoothies almost every single day, so I get on that smoothie life. But, um, you know, two k from that, still waiting, still in the closing process on the first 110, and then this offer for 100, and you had to go pick up the check. It was very hectic, and he got held over at work, so I wasn't able to collect the check for the 380 house, so hopefully... You know, hopefully tomorrow is the day we get the check, we start closing, and I cannot wait for that, because that's going to be one big paycheck. Uh, actually, I am working with someone over in Hancock County, if many of you don't know where that is, it's maybe about an hour away from there. But, um, you know, I'm working with them, and they're going to let me try and sell their $325,000 lot of 25 acres, which I'm getting a couple people interested already and they agreed <clears throat> they agreed if I can get it within this week that I will get 10% of that so about 30,000 and about 22,000 after I pay all my commission fees so 22,000 is going to be a big hefty paycheck but that's going to pay all my yearly expenses and I can focus on it you know I can keep doing it without having to worry about Uncle Sam behind me just with a crowbar <laughs> But, um, yeah, I did. The reason I didn't post Saturday was because I was with my dad. And we had a great time with my dad, my girlfriend, and my family. And we went to go get suits. So, this suit is now not going to be used as much. You know, I'm, there's a reason. I'm going to post the picture, you know, of my original, this suit, my pose, now. And then, on this side, I'm now going to post the new suit and I got a couple other but right now they're getting tailored and I'm getting real you know professional now getting you know thanks to my dad he's helped me out I love him to death but um he took me out got me in suit shoes and it's gonna look good I'm gonna look fresh apparently 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 I look like a used car salesman in this suit which okay I can see that I can see that now but this now that did wait this one, whichever one, so whichever side's on, the fresh looking suit, I, uh, I look like I'm about to fire somebody, cause I, I look like, I look like I got, got kind of power, so, 
Hopefully, I'll be getting those tailor suits sometime next week. They said 10 days as of yesterday, so next week. I know it sucks, and you, know, you gotta wait for me to look fresh for a little bit, but it's gonna be worth it. I'm gonna be, you know, looking good, looking professional. That way, I can start mingling with the, uh, the top percent up there in those homes. You know, again, I'll, I'll do it in this suit. I don't care. Because I got no shame when it comes to knocking on doors and cold calling and getting doors slammed in my face, getting weird looks at me. You know, that's the part of that's part of the game. That's uh that's part of this life. You need to put your pride, put your shame, tuck in a little briefcase and bring it along with you, but keep it closed because in this business you gotta do what you gotta do to get a little dirty, you know. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. That's that's pretty much all it is. If I had a quote above my head, just you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, sorry this video, I'm going to end it here actually, I'm sorry this video wasn't as long, but actually it should be long because I'm going to be, you know, should have all the, you know, all, all the quotes and all the videos I took this week, I'm just going to mash them up so you guys can see them in the beginning, so, you know, this, pre this video is probably going to be at the end, so thank you guys, you know, for watching, for sticking with my craziness, it's been honestly really fun, and I can't wait to see how this week unfolds might be a gut check maybe a reward you know stay tuned stay you know I'm gonna add in the description you know my snapchat because I post on that story all the time you know with my Facebook if you guys want that you know it's not the best but I think it's the best because it's mine but anyways I'm gonna end it here I hope you have a great day guys everyone thank you all for watching thank you for giving me my time well give me your time I'm I really do appreciate that so we'll see how this week unfolds I'll see you all in the next video bye bye